Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and today I am going to tell you how to extract the minimum value uh, using the min formula and finding out the uh, uh, finding and looking up a value based on that minimum value using the index and match formula. Uh, here I have taken this example uh, which we have used in the all in the complete index and match series, uh, the name of the stores and the products they are selling. So based on this, I want to find out which store sold the least number of Blackberries or which store sold the least number of Nokia phones. So I can do that using the min formula. So how is the min formula used? Uh, min formula is used by simply writing, typing in is equal to m i n min and then giving it a range to find the minimum value from. So we found the minimum minimum min formula found that 89 is the lowest value amongst this range and 53 is the lowest value amongst this range, 45 is the lowest value amongst this range. Now based on this finding I want to look at which store actually posted these lowest sales all right so you we can do that using the index and match formula now index it is asking for an array remember array is always that range from which we need to extract our answer so i will fix this comma it's asking me for a row number so since i'm not sure which row number we are talking about because this formula would be applied to all of these so I will use a match function and I'll match what? I'll match the lowest sales that we got. So the lowest sales, uh, the min function gave us the lowest sales and those which are located in cell J7, right? Here the lowest sales are located, comma, and which is the lookup array? This is the lookup array, comma, is it an exact match? Yes, you bet it. It would be an exact match. Let's close the bracket. Something went wrong. What did I do? Uh, ah, I typed in L7, you see. It's J7 actually. So we simply copy this formula across and we get the names of the stores which have posted the least number of sales across these categories. All right. Well, uh, this Excel file that you're looking at is available for free download for you on my website, myelesson.org. You can go to this website and download the file. Well, until the next video, then, this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.